So it was literally a day ago. I was telling people that the raid is set to release at some point early December. That's what we were all led to believe. But Ubisoft have actually released a teaser for the raid and confirmed the official release date being November the 28th. We literally have one day from the time you're seeing this video, or at least from the time the video is uploaded, until we can get our hands on this content. So what we're going to do in this video is go through the trailer once just so you guys can see it. Then we'll go back through it and pause it here and there just to have a little breakdown and see if there's any secrets and stuff we can find. Although after watching it myself, I don't think there is too much. Then after, I want to have a little bit of a discussion to see what you guys would like to see, what you don't want to see, and also just to share opinions and things on how it's going to be. So let's watch this trailer. That is it. You literally get 46 seconds of a trailer. It actually looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now is go back through it. Now I'm going to be pausing it here and there. So you very start, you're on a boat, you're heading over to Gollum Island. That's where the raid's going to be based. For those of you that have been talking about the other, like the main volcano island that everyone was talking about when the game first launched, I have no idea what their plans are with that. But we're on the boat, or the dinghy, we are heading over to Gollum Island. You can see all the things that were put as like a border around the island. The volcano's looking sweet. Then this little bit here, where you're going in between the, like the crevice in the two mountains, I've actually seen the gameplay of that. Someone managed to spawn in at the bivouac. They wasn't attacked by the swarm. They actually managed to ride the dinghy up this little path here, but when they got to the end, it was like a docking sort of bit, which I believe is going to be part of the raid, and like how you access the island. They were able to do that, but that's as far as they were able to go. So I'm guessing we actually have to make our own way. Like, this is all like the scenery, the terrain and stuff. It looks amazing. So we drive through here, and there's a little dock, which we're just parking at now. You can see the bridge in front of the waterfall. It doesn't really look... Anything like a raid from this point, it looks like it's just a different island we're going to explore. So we continue, you can see us walking across the bridge. And then here, this is where it gets interesting. As we're walking up, you see this little statue thing here. And it looks like really advanced technology. And you'll see in a minute the Nomad places his hand onto this. It's like a screen sort of thing, it's like a handprint scanner. So it's kind of weird. That might be how we get into some form of a building or something. So this is where you get to see it. Place our hand on it. It gives us the date of it releasing. And then this. That right there. I don't know if that's going to be... If we're going to have Walker as a boss and that's what he comes out of. Is that going to be a new boss? Like That's going to be one of our main bosses to take down in the raid. But I mean, the design of this stuff, as, as much as the gameplay, like it gets boring or whatever, this actually looks really cool. The design of it, to me, is amazing. But that's pretty much all we have. Then it just pops up Raid 1 Project Titan. So that might be the Titan. That might be the main boss of the raid. And I cannot wait for it. As I said, we have one day until this is available. I would say my character is pretty much ready. I believe I can get four people for it. So as much as I can, because I don't want to do like hour long playthroughs of trying to get through different bosses. I will be covering it on the channel to the best of my ability. So if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe for raid content. And what we're going to do now is switch over from the trailer because I don't just want to keep it on a paused screen. I'm going to put some gameplay in the background and we're going to have a little chat about what I would like to see, what I don't want to see, and just personal opinions about this raid. Just quickly to add into the video, 
This is what you will see when you first launch up Breakpoint. It's being kept 150 plus. So if you've made it to 250, 252, anywhere around that area, you should be good to go. So the very first thing I would like to see is variety in the stuff we have to do. I want this raid to be fairly big, maybe a couple of hours at least. Because with Division 2, it can take like days to do some raids. I mean, they've only got one raid in the game at the moment, but I mean, it, it took some days. Destiny 2, Destiny, the raids have all taken days. World of Warcraft, any game that features raids. Raids are a, a long, long piece of content that's very difficult to get through. There's a lot of mechanics you have to learn. So I would like to see a mixture of stuff we have to do. What I don't want to see is far too many puzzles that have no relevance to a raid. I don't want to see stupid mechanics that don't work properly. I'm hoping because they did originally say early December. They're releasing it early. So I'm hoping they're doing it so that it gets out to players. Not because they're rushing it. I really, really hope this raid is complete and doesn't have loads and loads of bugs. Another thing that I, I think this is probably the most important feature, even though it doesn't always work, there needs to be matchmaking. If there isn't matchmaking and people are forced, I know four players is half of eight, eight was required for Division 2. It was a very difficult time getting eight players together. Four is much easier, but still, some people don't have three other friends that can play at set times. A lot of people have jobs and stuff, they're not going to get the time, so I'm hoping there is matchmaking. You can jump in with a group of randoms, Start a party on Xbox, get some comms going, work as a team, get the raid done. I want to see a few different bosses, I'd like to see different enemy types and things in there. And I'm really hoping that the rewards are good. I'm not too interested in a gear score increase, just because of the mechanics behind the gear score. And I mean, by the looks of it, we're literally just going to have to travel from the top right corner of the map over to Gollum Island by boat, by chopper, however it is. But this is literally just a teaser, so I'm hoping there's some form of a mission we have to do, because everyone's been talking about it. I would like to see a mission to where we have to, in some way, disable the swarm that surrounds the island. Just so that it's got more of a story to it, instead of just go to Jericho, join the raid, drive over to the raid, or even see a cutscene or a loading screen or something. I want it to be a little bit more in-depth than the developers can make it, because it can go one of two ways. It can either be very bland and rushed and straight to the point or it can be in depth it can last players a long long time because i don't know when they're planning to do it but shortly after this we do have the terminator event coming into the game and i've loved breakpoint ever since the day i started playing it when it came out it was the first of october for me because i got three days early access due to buying the biggest edition but it's just is very is lacking a lot of content so this coming into the game is amazing it's going to give me something to do on the game but that's going to do it for my side of things let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching